YouTube, Jamie from Oz. So it's a lovely winter's day here, just out in the front yard, having a look. Got a honey eater up there. Lovely winter's day. Just to have a look at the winter verge. As saying, we planned this garden to be winter friendly so that the afternoon sun, which comes from behind me, still allows itself into the house. So the mulberry has dropped its leaves. And of course then in summer, it provides all the shade in the afternoon as well, as well as providing fruit and everything. One of the other things that we get is an opportunity with these lupins that just come up every winter which is all helping to build the soil underneath this chop and drop situation we've still got mandarin a couple of sweet potato in the ground there they're looking good and then uh tipuana tipu was in here somewhere the drumstick tree where's it gone oh there it is Baby Just this one down here. So, just got some new growth on the top of it. Hopefully, that'll survive. Yeah, interesting. Just been throwing stuff away. Our lemon myrtle's still going good. The jasmine hedge. And of course, the chop and drops. Still going. This awesome pink cushion hay kids. Amazing. And uh, over through this side, we've got ice cream bean, which is finally looking like it's gotten its feet wet. And this year, we actually had a pecan off the pecan tree, the very first pecan. So that's coming along. Chocolate sapote in the back there. California poppies are coming up again, which is great. Nice ground cover. And we have another moringa, another drumstick, which is also looking like it might survive this year. We get so much wind down the uh, driveway that it's very hard for anything to survive here. So really pioneering is the go. Over on this side, got a self-seeded wattle, which is uh, just flowering at the moment. Looking pretty awesome again. And this is probably about a year and a half old. I just grew up where it was. Just finished doing some more work at the back as well. Um, slight change of plans. Puppy swim pool. And sorted out some more favorable running surfaces for them. And changed out the granite for this limestone edged paving. But again in winter, we've got a peach here. Nashi's starting to lose some of its leaves. Pomegranate, is this one in front of us? Uh, plum, is this one up here? Um, that's uh, another peach. So all the deciduous plantings over this side here. And this is the side of the house. So we've got bathroom, laundry and kitchen. So morning sun. Uh, east is this way, north is that way, west is that way. So the sun comes up in winter, so all those leaves are gone and we get that nice warming sun in the morning. So as far as planting where your plantings are, that's the theory here that we've used some deciduous plantings. This plum here looks to have uh, a bit of an interesting sort of prospect. It's dropped its leaves above the fence line, but below the fence line it's still quite green so drops its leaves probably in a combination of the wind and also the change of weather further up in the garden at this end here we've got an apple a black sapote and the mango and down here we've got another apple and an orange that'll grow in and fill up there and so in those placements we're actually choosing not to have deciduous because we want a bit more screening of the outlook from the kitchen out through into the neighbor's property. So 
you screen your bad views, you open up for your solar elements for winter and in summer we'll look to have more shade over the house as this tree grows up and also as the apple grows up on the north side that will give nice shade in summer um, and then obviously when summer hits these guys here will also be doing stuff um, yeah so the other part of it obviously lots of edibles and herbs and stuff through all sorts of different stuff in the dog run again trying to control where the boys play their stuff but um, they've obviously been having their goes this is a fig chopped the top off that a few times we've lost the top of the orange there and the top of that apple so hopefully they'll survive once the boy loses his taste for chewing the tops off trees but yeah just a quick update on the winter view in you know, a permaculture garden so um, yeah looking forward to some plums this summer they'll be lovely absolute stacks Thanks for watching. Hey Wade, say goodbye to everybody. Hmm? Good boy, say goodbye. Oh, goodbye, sleepy tired.